There is a buzz and excitement in Jamaica's track and field arena as another young sprint star has emerged. That rising star is Kemba Nelson. But before we get into the details, we see that you've been watching and liking our videos. We also want you to subscribe. If that subscription button is still red, it simply means you have not yet subscribed. So hit that subscription button and the notification bell and welcome to the sports DTM family. Now, excitement is still growing in track and field circles as Jamaica has once again produced another rising sprinter. This sprinter is Kemba Nelson. Nelson scored a track at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica at the National Trials on Friday, June 24, 2022 and ran a personal best of 10.88 seconds upstaging her more fancied opponents to play second in the women's 100m finals and in the process booked a spot on the Jamaican team to the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. This run has set tongues talking and there is a buzz in the atmosphere. To be frank, this buzz started from early 2021 but seemed to have quelled after she did not make the Jamaica women relate pool for the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. But who is Kemba Nelson? Kemba Nelson is a 22-year-old who recently graduated from the University of Oregon in the USA. Nelson is from Montego Bay, Jamaica, where she attended Mount Alvernia High School, an institution not known for their athletics prowess. In her last season in high school, she placed second in the 100 meters at the Issa Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. Nelson eventually went on to the University of Technology, UTEC, in 2017, where she was being coached by Paul Francis and mentored by Jamaican track superstar Shelly Ann Fraser Price. She was also a part of the quartet that won the 4x100m relay at the 2019 Carifta Games in the Cayman Islands and placed third in the under 20 girls 100 meters at the same games to a certain Brianna Williams. After two years at UTEC, Nelson was offered a full scholarship from the University of Oregon and she left home to pursue her track career with the Oregon Ducks. This made Nelson the first Jamaican born and bred female athlete to attend University of Oregon. But Nelson has personal best times in the 100 meters of, of 10.88 seconds and the 200 meters at 22.74 seconds. She rose to prominence in 2021 of March after clocking 7.05 seconds in the 60 meters at the NCAA Division I Championship. Nelson also placed second at the NCAA Championships in June 2022, narrowly missing out to Texas's Julian Alfred in the women's 100 meters in a thriller that went down to the line as Alfred edged her out by a whisker winning in 11.014 seconds to Nelson's 11.02 seconds, a mere 0.006 seconds. But now, Kemba has saved her biggest impression for the Jamaican trials, placing second in a big personal best, scorching the track at 10.88 seconds. As media and fans adored her after the women's 100 meters finals at the Jamaican trials, we can surely say, even now, that it appears that everyone loves Kemba. Jamaican sprint superstar Shelly Ann Fraser Price got in on the action as she tweeted after the race, My girl, with, with emojis flowing, at I am Kemba. Kemba herself celebrating a brilliant run and coming to grips with her newfound status tweeted Still a try process last night from not making the NCAA 
finals indoor as a defending champion to making the world's team for Jamaica. Hello! Kemba will be at home in Eugene, Oregon at the World Championships as she went to college at the University of Oregon and we look forward to more fast times. Fans out there, what are your thoughts on the rise of Kemba Nelson? She's Jamaica's new rising sprint star. After a superb run and a personal best of 10.88 seconds, pipping the fastest woman alive Elaine Thompson era and in the process booking a spot on the 100m team to the World Championship in Eugene, Oregon. She missed out on the relay team last year but made a big jump to not just make the relay team but to get an individual spot on the team in the 100 meters. What are your thoughts on this? How do you think she'll do in her first world championships? Leave all those comments in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of their friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.